Within this video, we will show you how to improve your performance on your integrations. Within Alumio, you can filter on all already processed entities, and therefore an update that has already been done won't be uh, processed again. With this, we can select the filter previously stored entities. We already have a storage, which is called variance cache. And if we go to the variance cache, which is open in my second tab, we can actually see that nothing is in there yet. The moment we would run this test, this will be filled within the cache the moment that we refresh it. As you can see, it is there. If we run this test again, you can see that there's no result because it's already stored in the storage. The moment we would change this to, let's say, a four, we would run the test again. You can actually see that the test has been run again, which also means that this was a three before we changed it and the four one is also there right now. So that's how you can store a caching system within your Alumio integration. Thank you.